What's going on guys? Tyler here and today I'm going to be bringing to you guys a in-depth tutorial on how to do this kind of reaper effect kind of going in the if in the text and then around and then in and as you guys can see uh, it pretty much just goes in between the text kind of like this as you guys can see so yeah, I'm just going to bring this tutorial to you guys today so why don't we jump right into this so let me just delete these and start off by making a new mo text just like this bring this up and just zoom in this in all right and then just put whatever you want as a text I'm gonna put here and then I would recommend using kind of a small depth by around 80 now I usually put about 214 but for this one I'm not gonna do that much I'm only gonna do 80 80 to 60 and then I'm gonna pick my font that I want and alien encounters is by far one of my favorites so well, what I'm gonna do is next I'm gonna this is just for me I always control C this text and paste it and then I always make it bigger because I always like this nice effect like this and then I go like this put this on the front and put this as black and then if you're wondering what that does it just makes my text look phenomenal just as great as it can be it makes the front of the text black and then the size of the text blue if I didn't have that on so I guess if I didn't have this on uh, just sorry yeah uh, that was my sister by the way she is sleeping if you heard that and if you heard that she's sleeping I don't know why she does it but if you heard it then that was not me all right so uh, getting on to the Reaper X tutorial what we're gonna do is uh, to get that little effect going in throughout the text uh, if your text is kind of spaced really close what you're gonna want to do is horizontal space them apart kind of not not a lot a lot but kind of far kind of like that much maybe maybe like 30 I or actually like 26 works 26 is a good good distance and then what you're gonna do is uh, just hit uh, this little tool right here see it's right here this little square within another square and then you're gonna get these four so what you're gonna do is find see mine was like over here you're gonna want to find the top right box it's top and just find your text my text is right here you're gonna notice it because it's just however many letters you have kind of like this so what you're gonna do is just kind of zoom in on those now if you have a lot and you're going to want to zoom out far but I just have this much and then what you're going to do is go into the freehand tool it's just, uh, this little one and then what you're going to do is just click and then just go in and through and through and through kind of like that just like that and as you guys can see click back over here and you have this little blue line just going through the text and it doesn't look good as you see it goes through the R and through the E and it uh, just doesn't look good so I'm gonna show you how to fix that right now so what we're gonna do is go zoom in and just click off that go to uh, the, the moving tool and what you're gonna do is um you're gonna click and there's gonna be these little dots as you guys can see if I if I move it up it moves it so what you're gonna want to do is just find the dots that go through the letters so mine's right here move it up move it up move this one up oh that one's fine move that one up just make sure it looks good from behind alright so once you have f made it to where it looks good got all the little knots uh, positioned correctly like I just did what you're gonna do is go into plugins and you're gonna have to use Reaper X because 
This is basically what the tutorial is about. Now what Reaper X is, is if you put the spleen onto the Reaper X, as you see it makes this little coil effect. Now it looks really bad right now, but what you're going to do is just mess around with the settings. Now there's no basic settings. Um, it's pretty much just your your preference, to, to be honest. It's just all to do with your preferences. Now... Uh, I these are my settings um, for just this it's gonna be different for all of you because uh, of course because of course uh, your text is gonna be different if you use a different font so it's just pretty much based on your general preferences now I usually go to options and then you could change the radius to make it look better but I usually have it at 100 maybe actually going to about 67 looks kinda good yeah and then you can go to strands and just like you can just mess around with all the settings go mess around with the rotation the scaling now you can scale these down smaller bigger so I'm gonna use kind of these that, that big and then what I'm gonna do is add a color I'm gonna add blue and if we render this out while we're drinking our Mountain Dew you're gonna see you get this really nice effect now it looks really really good from right here now this isn't the best you could do because of course I didn't take a lot of time on this but if you just keep going at it you, you'll get it. it it's really easy it's a really nice effect as you can see so you could do some really cool stuff with this effect but guys this was Tyler and I hope this tutorial helped you if it did can you guys please leave a like rating and comment below if you used this effect and link me in the in a comment on what you use and i'll i'll rate it for you so guys thanks for watching if it helped please leave a like rating and always remember to subscribe peace out guys